Hi guys and welcome back to a new video. My name is Martina and this is a secret craft room. Today's video is part of the Christmas Palooza playlist hosted by my dear friend Annie from Crafting with Indiana Jones. Make sure to check out her channel and also the playlist that is full of amazing Christmas in July inspiration. You'll find the links in the description box below. I've been wanting to make a life-size nutcracker for years but I never got around to it. But last year I finally decided to create one, but with a twist. It's an advent calendar as well. I didn't have time to finish it before Christmas last year so I decided to finish it this year instead. Please don't forget to subscribe and give my video a thumbs up if you like it. And without further ado, let's get into the video. I am going to use these small drawer units from IKEA as the base for my nutcracker. You can build your own drawers from cardboard if you like, but this is a lot faster. The first thing I did was to start on the base. I wanted the top of the base to be the same size as the nutcracker's feet and the bottom of it to be larger at the front and sides. That way it will give support and make sure he won't tip over as easily. I made the back of the base flat because he's going to stand against a wall. I created the base from thick cardboard. I also added folded cardboard inside the base to make sure it would take the weight of the finished piece.
Once glued together, I added a layer of paper mache to it. While the base dried, I started to glue the drawer units together. I am starting with three of them on top of each other. For the drawers, I created 4 big ones out of 8 small drawers. If you want 25 drawers on yours, you could make 3 big ones instead. In Sweden we celebrate Christmas at the 24th, and our advent calendars has 24 doors or drawers. I also add a paper mache to the inside of the big boxes to make sure they were secure. Next I split one drawer unit down the middle and glue them to the sides of the body as the arms. Once the base had dried completely, I added a coat of spackling to the sides of it. When the spackling had dried, I sanded it down. Then I painted the base red. Once the paint had dried, I painted it with a mixture of Mod Podge and red glitter. Next I glued a piece of red felt fabric to the bottom of it. Next I cut one last drawer unit first into thirds and then one of them I cut down the middle too. Then I glued them in place. Then I added spackling to hide all the edges.
Then I sanded everything down. I painted all of the boxes green on the inside. On the outside I painted them red, blue and black depending on where they're going to go. Next I added thick cardboard to build up the rest of the nutcracker. Then I added paper mache to all the cardboard parts. I also created the nose from thick cardboard.
Next I covered all the cardboard parts with a layer of spackling as well and once it was dry I sanded it down. Next I traced his face and painted it using acrylic paint. Then I painted the rest of the nutcracker with black, blue and red paint. I wanted to make his hair out of wool, so I made a base out of cardboard and paper mache for it so I wouldn't need to use as much wool.
Next I need a felted white wool for his hair. and glued it in place.
Next I added the details to the drawers. I also added black glitter ribbon where the pants and boots meet but I forgot to record it. Then I kept decorating the nutcracker until I was happy with how he looked. For this part I used gold buttons and added aluminum wire to it. Then I made a hole in the side of the hat and thread the wire through it. 
Then I added the chains onto the wire tube. When I was happy with it, I glued the buttons in place to secure it. I wasn't happy with the gold paint on the drawers, so I added the same gold cardboard as I did to his shoulders. And I added glitter to the numbers. For his hands I used two large styrofoam balls and cut off about a quarter of them to make a flat surface. Then I painted them with the same color as his face. Then I glued them in place. Please don't forget to subscribe and also give my video a thumbs up if you liked it. And make sure to check out the playlist that is linked below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.